I am also slightly faster whilst I'm in the radiation zone. So it's whether I want to cure it now or take advantage of this bit of radiation. Okay, we got another one, we got another one, we got another one. Okay, uh, it's difficult to get a shot on him. Oh, with the flames definitely- oh god. Oh god. Okay! I turned him into lots of purple eggs. Maybe I should get that radiation poisoning fixed sooner rather than later. Right, we are here, close to the top of Black Mountain. We have fought our way here through Super Mutants to reach this communications equipment. We're actually here for the Brotherhood of Steel. We're doing a favor to Veronica's family. Which reminds me, Veronica and Eddie, oh God. They're down there. I'm gonna bring them a little closer. I, I sort of, didn't bring them because there's radiation here, and I think, well, you know, it's probably not good for them, is it? Um, I think Eddie's fine, but Veronica's probably. Is there a storm coming? It looks like it's really nice weather. Okay, guys, you're now sick with advanced rad poisoning. Okay, Aww, follow me. Standing around was getting. Yeah, yeah. I, I like found I found a spot that's got no radiation. You can hang around there. Just just run past this section. Okay, I think Tabitha's got another broadcast going. What do you see? Uh, I see Neil. First generation Neil from down the mountain. Oh, and what is he up to? Standing outside his shack down there. In the same spot as before, or has he moved? A little. Wow, it must be so exciting to see and know all. What a powerful reminder of your ultimate authority and power for our listeners. I see Mo. Mo the centaur? Favorite centaur Mo? What's he up to? Licking the gate? What's out of the pen? Now I'm almost afraid to ask, but do you see any, you know, threats out there? Threats all around us, converging like a noose, tightening, two-head bear people astride battle cattles. <sighs> Not the dreaded battle cattle training to hunt mutants. Would it be going too far to say that your gift of true eyesight is the only thing saving our community from annihilation? Because I think it's so important for everyone, even the dum-dums, to know how impossible it is to sneak up on us and more after this. Okay. Tabitha is interviewing herself. Yes, she is. I mean, it's one thing to hear voices. It's it's another thing to actually have a radio broadcast with them. Yeah. So anyway, uh, what, what was I saying? Yeah, right. We're helping. We're helping out Veronica's family. I mean, it's kind of in our interest to do so. They're actually going to make me an honorary. Um, Brotherhood of Steel member, which will make us, I'm sorry, which will make us family, officially, brother and sister, which is cool. Plus, let's be honest, I need all the friends I can get. The Legion don't like me very much, which is understandable. Um, and they keep sending people to kill me. And then there's Mr. House, who I suspect is still a tad irritated by what I did. So, you know, it's kind of nice to have somewhere I can go and hide for a while. Besides, as I've said, they, they're your family and, you know, family are family, aren't they? Family can be annoying and 
God knows your family definitely have that figured out. And the family, you know, you look after family and your family is my family. And I'm going to get you two to stay here. See, no radiation, so you should be fine. But I might need you, because you never know. Should have brought something to read. Right, just wait here, and... Beats wait until they shoot me first. Did I? Let's change back to, uh, to, to, to the big weapon. Yes, indeed. Alright, stay here. I'm gonna go and check this place out. Keep your eyes open for shimmering. What is it with the thunder? Yeah, keep your eyes open for shimmering. It could mean we have a nightkin. Or, or keep your eyes open for... Is that a rocket launcher? Okay. Keep your eyes open for shimmering and big blue super mutants with rocket launchers. All right, we've got. Okay, I'm not totally sure incendiary bullets are the way to go. You know. He's using explosives. It only seems fair if uh, if I do. Where's the Where's the super mutant? Super. Mutant. There's one. I meant. Where's the stealth? Okay, that's worrying. Okay. I'd go and set a bunch of mines up. But you know, I'll get spotted and then shot by the man with a rocket launcher. Okay. Where are you? See, the fence is shimmering all by itself, which is annoying. Come on, you had to hear that. You had to hear that. No. Uh. Okay, you had to hear that. I can see his head, but I can't shoot over the rock. Oh, God! Shoot him with exploding bullets! Okay. Nice one, Eddie. Nice one. I'm suffering from radiation poisoning. Okay, no one else is coming. Okay, heavy incinerator. The ash bits. Okay, let's take it. Ash bits. Was there anyone else? Stay out of sight. Stay out of sight. You stayed there. Yep, okay. Now, was that the one I saw earlier, or was there another one? Electro City. Okay, what we got? We got three buildings and a tower. Okay, it looks like um looks like it's this tower. Okay, that's 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 Tabitha again.
Federation seems to have some kind of suicidal urge that they can't control. How terrible! What makes you say that, best friend Tabitha? So far, all first-generation super mutants that have come to Utobatha have left not soon after. How strange! Why would anyone leave the safety and comfort that Utobatha provides? Why indeed, Rhonda? But now there's not a single first-generation super mutant in Utobatha! Except Neil. Except Neil! Well, I think we've learned something today. Let's go to the music. Okay, that I've got my radio on, but I, I'm... Okay. Right. So... Now we killed the guy up there. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? It's fire, it's fire, it's not a stealth boy. Okay. Radio transmitter control panel, activate. Is that what I'm looking for? No. Do you know what I need to stop doing? Pulling levers just because I can. Don't do that, don't ever do that again. That's really stupid. Nightkin Sniper. With a named rocket launcher. I'm... Overloaded, you're saying. Okay. Let's have a look at... What have we got? Okay, let's... Repair the heavy incinerator. We're, we're not really actually, um... Leave... Super sledges. Don't you touch my shovel. I am... Alright, that gives us a bit of wiggle room. Okay, so... What the hell am I supposed to be doing? Probably a good idea, isn't it? Crazy, crazy. Head to the summit of Black Mountain and end Tabitha's reign of terror. I possibly should do that. Otherwise, head to Black Mountain and install the remote signal transmitter in one of the consoles. This is not a console, it's a control panel. So, we've got Buildings, three of. Prison building, that is not likely to ha It's not likely to have a console in it, but it might have a slave ghoul. Okay. Tabitha is completely bonkers. Electrical switch. Activate. We're not pulling switches. No, we're not. Cool box. I will take that. Thank you very much. No trap. Terminal. 
Hermes Communications Incorporated, Black Mountain Submatrix, System Online, six entries. As if I don't have enough pointless things to do here, Tabitha wants me to start keeping a log of all the repairs I do. So here's my first log entry. I fixed up several old terminals that were left over in the intact buildings here. I wonder what she's planning to use them for. Okay. Apparently the mutants raided a caravan today. One of the rifles jammed. It took about seven minutes to fix. I also performed minor maintenance on the broadcasting tower outside. It's tempting to think that I could have just pulled a switch there and taken this accursed station off the air. No doubt she would have killed me soon afterward, but it might have been worth it just to see the look on her face. The mutant with the scar across his face, whom I've taken to calling Cuddles, st Okay, Cuddles, stopped in today and asked me to fix his car. I told him that that's outside my expertise and seriously thought he was going to kill me. Entry 4. Tried to escape today. Tabitha had one of her men beat me senseless when they caught me. Now they lock me up in the next room whenever I'm not working on something. Oh, and I fixed a toaster. Okay. Cuddles came in about his card again. He even brought a container of gas and asked if that would help. I tried to tell him that gas was not the problem and he got really angry and dragged me outside. Tabitha killed him herself before things got ugly. At least I don't have to hear about his damn card anymore. Tabitha came in today and said she's concerned about my safety. She's insisted that I change the lock on my door to require a password using one of the other computers I fixed. I'm really starting to regret ever fixing those. The password is 12345678 like anyone who cares will ever read this. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing a radio. The terminal. Cuddles toy ca <laughs> Cuddles car was a toy. Okay. Fair enough. Ronda. Mountain. Humans here? Oh, why do you think they do that? Honestly, I think they're a little jealous of the ideal society we've built here, Rhonda. And I can't blame them. We have everything we need here. Food, shelter, safety, entertainment. It really is a paradise. Entertainment. There's no arguing with the truth, is there? But humans need to be aware that Black Mountain is no place for them. In fact, it's even dangerous for them here. <gasps> Why is that? First of all, there's the radiation. That warm, peaceful glow that we all know and love doesn't have the same effect on humans. You see, humans are weak and have an inherent defect that causes them to fall apart when exposed to radiation. That sounds terrible. How do they stand it? Radiation's like everywhere. Right away. I know. Right they away. truly have a hard lot in life, which may explain why they're so irritable all the time. I I'm don't not know irritable. I you, Tobitha, but my eyes have really been opened. We'll be back after some music. <sighs> I am not irritable. I am in a position of some stress, that's all. I am... Enter password now. Disengage lot, okay, this is the lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. Are you the ghoul that is enslaved? Hello? Raoul? Noodles? 
Hello? You don't seem to be reacting particularly. Hello? Took you long enough, so can I go now? Um, uh, what? Sorry. I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on my cell is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. But maybe you're just sightseeing. So since the door's open and all, can I go now? Yeah, sure. Um, but out of curiosity, um, who the hell are you? Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. Pleased to meet you. Why does your jump say, jumpsuit say Miguel? Probably because it used to be Miguel's. Whoever he Fair was. Fair enough. How about if you let me go, huh, boss? Yeah, you, you, you're free to go. You're, you, um, can you, I don't need you to repair my stuff. I can repair my own stuff. You're the mechanic around here. <sighs> no. No, boss. I'm a prisoner of the crazy super mutant with the wig and the glasses. I was kind of hoping you were here to set me free. No, I'm... But maybe I'm not a pretty enough damsel for that. Wait a minute. Wig huh? and glasses. Wig and glasses. I'm looking for a super mutant with wig and glass. Okay. Yeah, no, you're free to go. Seriously, dude, you're free to go. I was just making friendly conversation. Have a nice life. Alrighty then. I'll just head out. Alone. By myself. Into the dangerous waste. Um, are you hinting? Do you want to come along? You want to come along? I mean, we tend to go places that are pretty dangerous, but you're more than welcome to join us. Sorry, boss. But as much as I like to risk getting killed by your side, you seem to already have some help. Oh! Oh! I've got too many... P really? Um... Tell me about yourself. Sure, boss. What do you want to know? Um... How the hell did you end up here? Well, boss, when a giant insane super mutant asks you to stay put, you do what you're told. Well, maybe you don't. But I'm just a broke-down old man. Uh, yeah, right, okay. No, that's fair enough. I mean, I must admit, my, my general first reaction would be to shoot said super mutant in face, but, hey, we're all different, right? But what the hell are you doing here in the first place is kind of what I'm getting at. Eh, ah, it's stupid, boss. I used to listen to the radio broadcast just to pass the time. Well, one day the signal stopped, so I figured I'd try to find a transmitter. I'm a pretty good repairman. Or I was before my eyes started to go. Anyway, I found Black Mountain and offered my services. But Tabitha decided I was useful enough to keep around. Permanently. You just came up here looking for a job. Yeah, I, no, you know what? Uh, that's fair enough. Um, we'll chat later, because apparently there's a super mutant with a wig. Anything you say, boss. Are you gonna... Let me just... Are you just gonna say... Okay, so so I, I I okay. No, I will. I'll take you out of it. I, I just I will. I will. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm uh, I've just got to go and find a transmitter or something. A console. I'm looking for a console. Was that a footstep I heard? That. That, that's a super mutant. That's a super mutant. No! I won't let you have my Raul! Um. No, that. Oh, okay. Anyone else? Okay, there is a gate. I have no idea why that stood out to me. Okay. 
Sledgehammer. Sledge. Seriously, really? Re is this why there were no sledgehammers in the? Oh. All the sledgehammers have been taken up to bloody Black Mountain. Okay. Tabitha's room. Tabitha's equipment kit? Wait. That's Tabitha. Stick around, you Tabitha, for more after this. Okay, must have been pre-recorded, I guess. Okay, um... Okay, well, we've killed... Tab... You know what? Guys, I might need a tiny, tiny, itty bitty, little bit of help. So, um... Just hang around outside in case I get uh, jumped by super mutants again. I found somebody called Raul. Unfortunately, he's not going to follow. Yeah. Well, that kind of sucks, that, doesn't it? Um. But anyway, for, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, wait here. Read. And be aggressive. First. I'm looking for a console. Storage building. Keep your eyes open. I might come running out in a... Or I might not. Liberator rifle. Treasure hunt. No added. Treasure hunt. Okay. This place seems to be... Broken Mr. Handy. Ooh. The robot lies inert on the table, giving no indication of having worked recently or ever. A nameplate on the part of the service is scratched and mostly faded, but you can still make out the faint work. Rhonda. Okay, Rhonda's... Uh, okay. Science, check the robot's circuitry. You quickly ascertain that the robot's current AI state, state is set to hibernate, likely a self-defense mechanism, after the unit suffered catastrophic damage. Whoever repaired it probably didn't know how to reset its AI after flipping the right switch. The robot jumps to life. Hello! Could you please direct me to Mistress Tabitha? Um, I'm afraid she's... That's probably not what I should tell him. No... Best friend Rhonda. I'll just wait here for Mistress Tabitha. Yes, you do. You do that. That sounds like a really good idea. And if it's okay with you, I'd um, I'd like to rob you blind. And um, I'm gonna start with the Liberator rifle, whatever that is. And then I'm going to work more varmint rifle. Really, varmint rifle. Do you have anything? Vending machine? New cola? Might as well. How may I serve you, Master? You can serve me by shushing for now. Missile launcher. We already have one, but we can use it to repair the one we have. Okay, and. Happy birthday? Oh, is that a light switch? Yay! Don't need to use my pit boy. Okay, so what have we got? EMP generator implant. We've already actually got one of those. So... You never know. Might be useful. I'm still going to use my pit boy light. Nuka-Cola victory. Sneak! Books Bobblehead Sneak. Um, you found Books Sneak Bobblehead. Please choose an option. Books Bobbleheads. 
Oh, I think I remember. Yeah, no, I think I remember. I think I remember what the hell that was. That's something to do with my casino. Which reminds me, I must go back and find out if I have got any money. Actually, no, I don't. I get little messages when I get money, so I don't need to do that. Okay, come on. Oh, blank blade for mods. Why am I checking that side as if it's going to be any different? Um, do I need paint guns? I've got to try and remember what the hell it is I need. Okay. What? Where the hell is that sound coming from? Okay, um... I don't need the pistols. And... Is that it? Oh no, one more. Farming rifles? Really? I gotta tell you. Not the kind of stash I was hoping for. Oh, liberator rifle. There's a, you know, I'm... Com Where's this mysterious broadcast coming from? We got, we got... Camp Guardian Radio, Happy Trails Expedition, Mojave Music Radio. Ra radio Welcome New Vegas. Back to the mis mysterious broadcast. Black Mountain Radio. Oh, now I'm getting static. Oh, nobody, nobody's a cute, nobody. That's Veronica, that's Veronica, that's Veronica. Um, liberator rifle, liberator rifle. That's what I was doing, isn't it? Yes, no, sorry, getting getting a little carried away. Um, 44 damage. That's not really very good, is it? No, it's not. And it's using the hunting rifle bullets. Yeah, definitely not me. Me. Yep. Okay. Last building. I guess this is where our console has to be. Broadcast building, first floor, seems reasonable. Okay. Terminals. Any traps. Door to Black Mountain. Okay. We have one terminal. Locked easy. We have a desk with nothing in it. Come on. Set halt restart maintenance. Initializing. Blah, blah, blah. On with it. Against. Log 672. We've been pi picking up a lot of activity from China's satellite network. The tension is pretty high around here. Frank's been talking about securing a place in one of those vaults for himself and his family. When he didn't show up to work yesterday, I think we all knew where he went. Okay, so this is pre-war. Oh my god, it's actually happened. We've readings across the board of launches happening everywhere. They must have thrown everything they had. It looks like we didn't hold back either. The computer says we have two minutes until first missiles drop. I can brutally type. The mountain shielded us from the worst of the blast, but there's too much radiation. Okay. Wow, I can't believe those old machines still work. These machines still work. This place looks pretty defensible, and the radiation should keep the majority of the people away. Looks like we found a home, at least for now. First things first, though. We've got to get these corpses out of here, poor bastards. Marcus. Okay, Marcus is the super mutant. He sounds reasonable. A little more reasonable than Tabitha. Although, let's be honest, that is setting the bar pretty low. 
nearby. Marcus made me type this. The leader of this community, Marcus, said I should start keeping a journal to get my mind off of Rhonda. He also said I might find something interesting inside this stupid old building. What could possibly be interesting here? The only thing that works in here is this junky old terminal. Rhonda. Marcus said I should start keeping a journal to get my mind off Rhonda. It's, it's, it, so Rhonda was, Rhonda was the, the robot and it's no longer working. It's a radio station. It's amazing, this place is a radio station. If we can get it repaired, we can broadcast music across the wastes. Just like Rhonda and I used to listen to. Ah, Rhonda, how I wish you hadn't gone away. I asked all of the mutants here for help, but none of them could do anything for you, which makes me doubt they can fix this place. Who, who's, who did Rhonda belong to? On the air. The radio station is fixed and we've begun sending our messages into the desert. Marcus thinks I spend too much time in here, but what does a first gen know? Rhonda says they're just one step away from Dum Dums, I agree. So this is Tabitha. Tabitha sounded kind of... Not so ridiculous. At this point, anyway. There was a fight in the yard today between some of us and first gens. Marcus made a speech about how we need to work together and why we sh... But why should we? We were the master's favourites. We don't need their help. Rhonda says we'd be better off without them. Okay. So initially, Rhonda was actually your pet robot. And then... Marcus and the others have left today. Finally, we have the whole place to ourselves. No more listening to lectures about what we can and can't say on the air. The airwaves will be free. Now Rhonda and I can host our own radio show like we've been planning. I don't know why Marcus always refused to let us do it before. I, I can probably hazard a guess. He always started getting real nervous when I told him what Rhonda thought about things. Rhonda says he was afraid she was too smart to control. No, I think Rhonda's always been his imagination and he... Oh, I didn't... I didn't see that last message. Anyway, this is the start of a new era. The only downside is the most... Most of the dum-dums chose to stay. Okay. Lucky. Great news, a ghoul entered our camp today who has experience fixing machines. He seems to really like it here, so I hope he can stay long enough to fix Rhonda. No, Rhonda is the robot. Weird, Rhonda just asked me why she would need fixing. She has a point. What was I thinking? Okay, no, she was the robot, then she became a voice in her head. Safe. I finally got Raoul to finish installing the security meshes on my door. Now I can have all the privacy I want. Just in case I have a dumb dumb moment, I placed a spare key under the stairs behind my building. No one ever goes back there, so it should be safe from discovery. Okay. Behind the building. I'm going to take a wild stab and assume... That is out there. Underneath the stairs? Quest Tabitha's key! Okay. Door to broadcast building, second floor. Battle cattle, maybe? Maybe. Okay. Open trunks. With ammo. Thank you very much. And more ammo. Repair note three. Radar console. Where are... Where's repair note one and two? Glass pitcher. Ham radio. I'm getting sheet music book. Okay, we got sheet music for some reason. We have a radar console and we have repair note three. Um, oh. Okay, whoa, 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 we'll read that in a second. Repair note three. Raul, Rhonda made me angry, so I threw this. Now it doesn't seem to work. Please fix. Okay. 
Treasure hunt, to whom it may concern you. We got some pretty good stuff from the last raid, and unlike last time, I don't want any incidents. The only logical conclusion was to hide everything throughout this room. If you can read this, you have my permission to use the items you can find. Missile launcher, found it. Missiles, not sure. Bricks of C4 did not find. Frag grenades, one super stim pack. I didn't find any of that. Various ammo, found that. Didn't find super stim pack and didn't find bricks of C4. Not that I really need it. No, I don't. All right. Install the remote signal transmitter. You quickly install the device as directed. Immediately, a small green light on it begins pulsing, indicating that it has begun transmitting. Report to McNamara that the device has been installed. Can I just... Okay. So we're done. We have everything we need. Okay, um... Right. Um, okay, look. Yeah. Okay, Eddie, can, can you... I just... It's just... We're doing something for, for the Brotherhood of Steel at the moment, right? So, so... You just... You go back... Back to Good Springs. Go back to Good Springs... I'll be along in a little while, okay? Just gonna finish this business up with Veronica, and then, then Veronica will need a rest, probably. Yeah. You just go back. It's, it's not that far. You just fly up the road. You could, you know, just fly up the road to Good Springs and have a bit of a rest. Yeah, no, it, it, continue and return to, return to base. Just return to base. Go back to the house. It's gone to your home. You see? Nice one. All right. Aw, just when the standing around was getting excited. Yes, yes, come on. I like this plan where you're the decoy. We're gonna go meet Raul. You're like Raul. He's, um, sassy. Oh, it's you. You need something repaired or something? No, I'm, uh, you, you said you wanted to leave here. You wanted to leave here, so come along. Anything's better than staying here. Let's go. Rahul has given you the regular maintenance perk. We have the regular maintenance perk. What the hell is that? Let's have a look. Stats. Perks. Now, we get... What did we get from... Veronica? Something about the scribe, didn't we? What did we get from you? Scribe counter. Scribes in the Brotherhood of Steel are not well trained in combat use. The high tech... No, Scribe Assistant. While Veronica is a companion, the player can craft workbench items through Veronica's dialogue and regular maintenance. When While Raul is a companion, the condition of weapons and armor decays more slowly. That's kind of useful. That is actually kind of useful. Got to admit. If we run, we might still catch Benny. Well, you might. I'll just be... Wheezing along behind you. Benny. Dude, how do you know about Benny? And, um, I, I hope you weren't a friend, because I have to tell you, I'm, um, he's dead. Um, okay, let's, can you repair, can you repair stuff? Sure, I'll just pull a toolbox out from behind a conveniently placed rock and get to work. Hilarious. Talk to me at my shack. I've at least got tools here. Oh, no, 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 I don't actually need you to repair stuff. I'm just, I'm You really chit enjoy dragging me into situations where I get shot at, don't you, boss? Um, not yet, but I'm thinking about it. Okay, let's get out of here. Go and see Elder McNamara and give him the good news. Really? I feel like I'm in a bad horror movie. It's funny when you think about it. I'm like dragging absolutely anybody into this bunker. It's supposed to be a secret. They, they let me in as a special case, but apparently I can just drag in every wayward stray there is. Oh, they don't seem to mind. There you go. That's how much they trust me. How you doing? Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. 
Uh, it's the other way around, my friend. I installed the device up at Black Mountain as instructed. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I Good. thank you. Now then, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. But I hope this will make up for it. I had the That's knights fine. refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Earlier now, models? I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? Um, not necessarily. I really, um... Don't I just stick it on and wander around? If only it were that simple. Think of power armor as a machine to be operated, rather than clothing you'd wear. With a little instruction, using it becomes as natural as simple movement. But to the ignorant, it's just so much heavy junk. So let's bring you up to speed, shall we? Sure, I guess. First, let's go over how to put it on. I mean... There. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you, not just the more mundane arms. You're Ooh. a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed what? to come whoa, 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 and go as you please. What do you mean You've my done gear so much for like us that? that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that you will always have a home here. That's nice. What do you what what, what do you mean my gear? What do you mean my gear? My gear's My gear's awesome. I have awesome gear. My gear is better than your gear. What, 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 what where's your guys? Where are your guys? What have they got? Laser rifle. I mean, there's just there's nothing. Look at this. Well, actually, you know what? No, just Look at this. Look at this. This rifle. It's more powerful than those. Even Oh, that's nice though, isn't it? The Gauss rifle. All right, that's nice. I'll give you that. But there's nothing wrong with my gear. Look at this. Look at that. That's a classic, that is. A classic. Apparently, I can wear power armor now. Let's try power armor on for a laugh. T-45 power armor and power helmet. And you really did give me the crappest of the crap, didn't you? It's not just old, it's falling apart. Okay. To activate enhanced vision, press the... Ooh, I get... I get night vision and heat vision. Ooh. Uh. My arm's missing. It's got a built-in... Stealth boy, that only works for your rip. Okay. Oh, Voltec power armor. That's. Why oh, doesn't have a stealth thing? Doesn't really work with the helmet, does it? Doesn't work with the helmet. Um. Range of brown hat and authority glasses. Oh, I can't use the flash band, the flash light belt. Um. <laughs> um. No. <laughs> 